Greetings to everyone joining us for our Bible study session at this hour. It's a privilege uh, to have you here with us uh, at this moment as we study God's Word. Our topic of discussion is how to fear God. And uh, the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 27, the Bible says, The fear of the Lord prolongeth days but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Also in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 26 and 27, In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. In the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. But some may ask the question, we should fear God. But the Bible says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. So our topic of discussion is how should we fear the Lord and the scriptures are not in disagreement. I would like to invite you to come before the Lord with me in prayer. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your word, which is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We ask you at this time for your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. Convict us of our sins that we may surrender them to you, Holy Father, and be cleansed with the blood of Jesus. Bless our minds so that we may understand spiritual things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Now the whole duty of every single human being is to fear God and keep his commandments. But how can we reconcile with 1 John chapter 4 verse 18 that there is no fear in love? John chapter 14 verse 15, if ye love me, keep my commandments. So how can we love God and also fear him? That's a very interesting thought. Let us go to what it means to fear God. In the book of Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13, the Bible says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. So the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Now, if we love God and we fear God, we are to keep his commandments to hate evil also Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 the Bible says no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other he cannot serve God and mammon so when we put all of these scriptures together if we love God, we are to fear Him. And in, in 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, it says, Perfect love casteth out fear. When the Bible says that we are to fear God or to have the fear of the Lord, it is not in um, the understanding of fear that the world understands or defines fear as. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 27, that we cannot serve God and mammon. If we love one, we will hate the other. And we saw in Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. So it is the whole duty of man, as explained in Ecclesiastes chapter 12. We are to fear God and to keep his commandments. So if we love God, we will hate evil and keep his commandments. That's our study for this uh, moment of how to have the fear of the Lord and how to fear God. Uh, I hope you can join us uh, for our next session as we continue to study the Bible. Thank you.